right. Today's DIY. We're going to take a play a game to Buckshot Annie. We're going to take this one and change it into Scream 6. Time for another DIY. We're going to take this Scream Mask and turn it into Scream 6. We've done two of them already. We're going to do a third one. We're going to let y'all get on how we do it. So what is your favorite DIY? I'm going to show you one right today. Okay. First step. So we're going to take this adhesive. This 6,000 adhesive. And we're going to just put it in a little, little cup, a little tray. Ours is just the bottom of a two liter. And then we're going to put it all over the uh, mask to give it a texture, to give it a rot look to the mask. For the most part, these uh, plastic latex don't rot like that. But for the movies, The Last Halloween and this one, they did. Movie magic. So all we're doing is just taking and squirting some out. Taking a brush, and then we're going to just dab it, paint it all over the mask, different spots. If you watched Scream Six. You know, this spot, like under the cheek, and then right on the cheek, was a heavy uh, rot spot. So we're definitely making sure we hit those spots. But we're hitting it all over. It just gives it a texture look. Trying to stay out of the black. And off the fabric. That's all we're doing. So we're going to coat this up. We're going to let it dry. And we're going to cut it up again. You don't really need to see us do all of that. But that's what we're going to do. And that's the process that we're going to do it with. E6000. That's the glue. You can pick it up at any big box store. You can order it off. Amazon if you wanted to. Change shirts because I didn't want to get you know, the stuff on my stab shirt. Put the first coat on and now I'm going to let it uh, sit up and dry. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a second, maybe a third coat on it. Who knows? And then we paint it after that. Well, we don't paint after that. We do a, a hot knife. We carve out some spots. We're putting this on and for two reasons. It's going to give texture to the whole mask. And it's also going to give a little more depth for when we take the hot knife and we make some spots. Alrighty. That's part one. Alright, phase two. In this process, is I've got a couple of different hot knives going on right here. And uh, this one's got a, a bigger blade on it. Oh, by the way, these things are pretty dangerous. You'll burn yourself, so be very, very careful. 
or you'll burn other things. So all I'm going to do is right above this eye, we'll make a little rotten spot, cutting through the the glue and a little bit into the the mask. And then I'm going to draw a line out from it. All right, so I've made a big spot at the top. I'm gonna come down here to this chin and we'll do the similar with this uh, hot knife. It's a great carving pumpkin tool for uh, styrofoam pumpkins, by the way. And don't worry about it. If you make a mistake, it's your mask. It's your personal mask. It's a one-of-a-kind mask. Don't you forget that. So now, we'll come over to this cheek and do similar stuff. You can see that it's hot. It's kind of smoking here, maybe. I don't know if that translates into the video or not. Made a spot, and now I'm just doing a couple cracks coming off of it. Alrighty. That one is done. It's hot like I said. This one's got a thinner blade. You can just switch them out, but I didn't want to switch them out. I wanted to go ahead and hit it all at one time. I'm just going to make a little cut.
All right, well, I think I'm done with the small blade. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off. Let it cool down before I put it back up. Gonna make a bigger cut down between the nose here. All right, we'll make a bigger cut right here as well. I ain't gonna put one on the side right here. All right, that was what I'm calling step two. First was the glue, second is the uh, hot knife, and step three will be right up. All right, step three, we're gonna wash this whole mask. Boy, added a little water to this cup. Gonna put a little paint in it. We'll stir this stuff up. You know what I mean? Once we stir it up. Then we wash it off. Give it a wash. Yeah, we're just put a little wash on it. This makes it look a little dingy. In case people have never done anything like this before. All right, so we washed it. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. We'll come back and we'll wash it maybe two or three other times. You don't need to see that. It's basically the same process. Uh, we may come back in, color some lines in that we've got cut, but uh, that's it. That's for the wash. That's uh, step three on this process. And then after that will be the uh, painting of this. So, you know, it's pretty easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, oh, by the way, I've got a lot of these techniques off of other people online. I'm just sharing them with y'all now. Uh, Cosplay Chris uh, was one of them. I can't remember the other people that I've watched their videos of. But uh, check out Cosplay Chris. He does a lot of this st type stuff. Thank you. Okay. We got to show y'all. I had a little yellow. I just added it around that. 
the outside and around the eyes, under the nose, to make it for more aging, like, is what I've done. Then I took uh, some brown that I had in the yellow, and it was already in the cup, and I've mixed it in there, and I'm gonna come right back where the, I added the uh, yellow and put just a little bit more of the brown to, to dull the, the yellow out. And that'll create more of a, the aging look. Right there. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, just uh, dapping it in, making a little yellow less bright. In fact, the, the yellow is still a little, a little wet. Yep. So that's where we're at. We went to the, we washed it, uh, we washed it three times. And then uh, we've come back in and added the, uh, the yellow and come back with the, the yellow brown mix. And uh, that's where we're at. Right there. And we will let that dry. Then we come back in with uh, the white over top. And uh, we're almost done with our steps. I think uh, we got two more steps. We add the white back in. So depending on what that looks like, we'll finish it up. And then uh, we uh, put a clear coat over top of it because uh, this craft paint uh, will wash off. Like if you get it on the fabric or the eyes, it washes off pretty easily. As long as you get to it. But uh, yeah, it'll come off comes off your hands, it comes off everything pretty easy. So that's where we're at right now. Gotta let this dry and then we'll get back to it. All right. Our mask has dried. So now what we gotta do is come back in and put the white in the mask. That little white right here. Shroud or hood. We'll come in. Get some paper towel and uh, a little water. And 
and remove it. All right, we're back. We're back, baby doll. Hand painting away here. You can take the shroud off and then put it back on. There's plenty of uh, videos out there that shows you how to remove the shroud to upgrade your, your fabric or to be able to do the custom work without getting it in your way. We're not doing that. We're just, uh, Paint, paint, paint. one eye we'll finish it up and we'll do the uh, other eye as we try to block the wife that's standing right there y'all may know her from other videos but we're blocking her right now she can't be seen Hello. yep now she's talking too loud all right well i'm gonna turn it off before she comes in the video all right now what i've done is thinned out my white Add a little water. Add a little water to it. I'm coming back in. Is it blotching it? In some spots. Mm. 
blending it in a little bit more. Making it look a little more natural. There she is. The final step is I just go out and I spray paint the uh, the aerosol to keep all this uh, craft paint on it. So well, uh, that's it. You've done seen me wear one, which was this one. So there it is. There's uh, how you do a uh, Scream Six mask. Thanks for watching. Horns up.